There was a Mount Rushmore of Oregon politicians. Former governor and U.S. Senator Mark Hatfield would definitely be on it. And had he lived, by the way, he would be turning 100 years old next year. So leading up to his birthday centennial, the Oregon Historical Society is unveiling a traveling exhibit in his honor. And Kim Boddy looks at the legacy of Mark Hatfield in tonight's Where We Live. From the Mark Hatfield U.S. Courthouse in Portland, to the Hatfield Marine Science Center in Newport, the Hatfield School of Government at Portland State University, the Mark O. Hatfield Research Center at Oregon Health and Science University. Mark Hatfield's name is on institutions all over Oregon. I think clearly he was the most significant, iconic, influential political figure of the last half of the 20th century. As the Oregon Historical Society unveils its traveling tribute to Hatfield, Mark Hatfield's legacy is being celebrated. A native Oregonian and Navy veteran, Mark Hatfield spent 46 years in public life as a legislator, secretary of state, two-term governor starting in 1959, and a ranking U.S. senator. He never lost an election. The self-described moderate Republican was committed to social issues and guided by deep religious faith. In this 1963 interview with CBS News, then Governor Hatfield described his view of politics. I think there are politicians that do compromise principle, but I don't think this is the statesman type of politics that we need. So I would say that the politician uh, who compromises principle is not a man who is going to really contribute much to the welfare and the benefit of his fellow man. Hatfield was known for working across the aisle. President Bill Clinton once said of Mark Hatfield, because he tries to love his enemies, he has no enemies. His wife, Antoinette, was a political force in her own right. Well, I believed in him, in a marriage. Are you happy with your husband or are you not happy? You know, well, I was happy, and I was happy to help him. Hatfield spent 30 years in the Senate and twice chaired the Senate Appropriations Committee, where the money comes from. And he made sure that Oregon got its fair share, and, and probably more than its fair share. Mark Odom Hatfield died in 2011 at age 89, leaving a legacy few politicians can match. You can't go anywhere in Oregon without seeing Senator Hatfield's influence. Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News.